today. And now, your first alert weather. Yeah, it's been fairly windy out there with a wind advisory posted until 6 o'clock. But of course, we're all talking about the cold temperatures, a bit of some rain and some high elevation snow traversing the region. But we haven't picked up on much moisture. And when I was talking to you yesterday, we talked about that, how it was going to not be really impressive in terms of rainfall amounts, but just a lot of wind and cooler temperatures. In fact, it's going to be freezing tonight outside with a freeze warning that's in place. Let's get out to the Idaho Falls First Alert Sky Cam. We're at 55 degrees, winds out of the southwest, sustained to 28 miles an hour, but your gusts into that 30 to 40 mile per hour range. Elsewhere, those wind speeds into the 20s for Pocatello, the teens and 20s in Blackfoot, and similar conditions in Rexburg with lighter winds right now in Jackson, and Salmon starting to see some lighter winds as well out of the northwest at 5 miles an hour. The cold temperatures tonight on the back side of today's cold front will lead to some freezing numbers tomorrow morning. And that's why the National Weather Service posting a freeze warning with highs, uh, well, I should say with numbers into the high 20s and low 30s tomorrow morning. It's going to be awfully chilly, even if you don't live in that shaded area on the map. And over on Viper, it's dry. Uh, we did have a few spotty sprinkles late last night, early this morning, and even a few showers this afternoon, still hanging around areas of central Idaho. But now that cold front's dragging the showers further to the east, and we're left in the wake of that cold front with some cool temps for tomorrow. Highs for your Wednesday only getting into the upper 50s and lower 60s, but we will see the winds calm down and some sunshine working in after that cold front departs. In fact, you can see that here as I take you over to Vipercast. Tonight, we'll have some lingering pockets of wet weather in areas of western Wyoming and southeastern Idaho. Quite a bit of wet weather in areas of central Wyoming as we get into tomorrow morning with some showers getting heavy at times out towards places like Casper and Cheyenne. But on our side of the Wyoming and getting into eastern Idaho, it's going to be a relatively sunny, somewhat smoky forecast for tomorrow and I'll show you why here in just a bit. High pressure building back in and temperatures slowly warming up as we head through the rest of this work week on our way into the weekend. But check out the smoke map. The smoke is going to start drifting back in from the Boundary Fire burning in central Idaho plus a couple other fires burning in Montana. That's because we're going to pull in the winds from the north tonight and tomorrow and that's going to allow for more of that smoke and haze to be drifting back in. A high of 56 for Lab and tomorrow 59 in Preston lows into the 20s and 30s tonight. Like I mentioned, it's going to be freezing tonight. 26 for the low in Jackson with a high of 53 for tomorrow. We'll be at 32 tonight for Rexburg with a high of 57 for tomorrow. Highs at 61 in Salmon and Chow's 57 in Mackey with overnight lows into the teens and 20s. 12 tonight in Stanley. 31 tonight in Idaho Falls with a high of 58 for tomorrow. Into the mid to lower 30s around Pocatello and American Falls with numbers into the lower 60s tomorrow afternoon. And the upper 50s, lower 60s as you work into Burley and Twin Falls. In the extended forecast, today we'll start with Blackfoot, you'll see temperatures into the lower 60s by Thursday, and then steadily warming highs into the upper 60s, lower 70s as we get into the weekend and beyond for next week. It looks like it's a fairly nice weekend ahead here. Rexburg, a high of 62 for Thursday. We're into the mid to upper 60s for Friday and Saturday, very close to 70 degrees for Saturday and Sunday afternoon with overnight lows into the mid 30s. Salmon, a high of 70 for Thursday, low 70s on Friday, and the low to mid 70s to round out your weekend with plenty of sunshine and overnight lows into those mid to upper 30s. Jackson, you'll have a high here of 53 for tomorrow. You'll have a slight chance of maybe seeing some isolated sprinkles in western Wyoming tomorrow, but generally it's a drying forecast and just some cold overnight lows into the teens and 20s with highs close to 70 for the weekend. Pocatello, 65 for Thursday. We're going to shake off the cloud cover moving into the weekend with highs warming into the upper 60s, lower 70s for Saturday and Sunday. And here's your Idaho Falls eight day forecast. 58 for tomorrow, 63 for Thursday, and very close to 70 degrees by Friday and Saturday. Plenty of sunshine abound for the weekend with overnight lows into the mid to upper 30s and we have a freeze warning for tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a freeze warning or frost advisory for tomorrow night again. So this looks like it's uh, about time we wrap up the gardens and that's uh, pretty uh, normal for this time of the year. We'll send it back over to Todd and Bree. Well, what was supposed to go as a GoFundMe page to buy a treat for a young boy who was just following the rules will now help pay for something much bigger.